That's day two of baloney. I don't even know what that means. Next time we send our robot on a runaway through the shop, we'll warn people. It's like our Tormach, but manual and heavier. Welcome to this week's vlog, and this week you're gonna see baloney wallets. What are baloney wallets? I have no clue, but you're gonna find out. We also have a bunch of shenanigans, because you know, we have fun here. Can you please stop doing your intros here? No. <laughs> what is this? So, we got some cool new gadgets from these guys. Can't wait to get into the, the box and actually see how this stuff works. What is it? Door access. It's like those things where you have a card and you tap it and it opens and closes the door. You wanna see how it works? Yes. Yeah? Come up in like a few minutes and I'll have everything hooked up. Sounds good. Bye bye. Tyler, <sighs> episode one of uh, Retail Labs. Yeah. What Wonder are we way. doing today? Well, I think Chris has come up with a plan to cut some bologna. Well, it's my plan now, is it? <laughs> What's the bologna for, Chris? Uh, <laughs> what is the bologna for? You'll just have to wait and see, I guess, because I don't think I should explain it. It just doesn't <laughs> make sense. Okay, Chris, oh. do your thing. Uh, Owen, do you have a credit card on you? Where did you get that? James's desk. Man, yeah, it fits perfect. It's like the weirdest video I've ever done. You're doing great, Chris. <laughs> look at how, look at the incision. This is this is surgery right here. Mm. <laughs> look at that though. Well, one baloney is how many cards? I'd say like two or three. Two or three, two and a half. Round up. <laughs> Credit or debit? <laughs> you just put the baloney on top and it's a baloney credit card. What are we doing today? Oh, great. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Tyler gets the next one. Yeah, come on, Jose, don't hog all the What's credit that? card baloney scrap. <laughs> Heck, oh my god, look at that. That's so perfect. I love that, that's, that's nice. We should hang that. Should we frame this? Oh, you know what would be really cool is if we put it like back in the bologna stack and then um, like hid something in it, but like in the fridge. Like we could hide, I don't know, James's keys or something. So Tyler said he would engrave the bologna for us. <gasps> like laser gra <laughs> engrave it? Yep. You know what time it is? Bologna time. <laughs> This probably isn't gonna work. Eh. My scientific numbers tell me I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Nothing happened. Okay, thanks, Tyler. <laughs> Bye. We need a vacuum. Bye. Goodbye. Italy. Its origins lie in Italy in the city of Bologna. <laughs> and it was made in the 1400s. You've done such a big stack of bologna now. Look at that. I've outpaced the regular bologna. <laughs> yeah. What have we done? Time for the real <laughs> test. All right. Wait, what's the real test? Grab your wallet. Empty your wallet. Chris. Empty your wallet. Oh. <laughs> Everything. Wait, Chris, what's that you have there? It's the secret baloney safe. <laughs> Jose, get the hot glue. We gotta put this back together. Oh man, bologna. I'm craving some baloney. Yeah, but then you do this and you're like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, it's so <laughs> greasy. All right, goodbye. Good night. Tyler, we need you. You need me? Yeah. 
Okay, I'm coming. I called you here to crack the, the safe. Break it open. I don't know what that means. I'm very confused. Grab that first slice of bologna. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> You found it. You can put it back on. <laughs> I don't like this at all. <laughs> I don't like this. This is gross. I don't understand. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I was gonna say, what were we gonna put on the inside? <laughs> no, no. I guess nothing. Well, good you prank, can still guys. It. Good prank. <laughs> you can. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, you did it. And now we cook the bologna in the freezer for how long, Chris? I don't know. Overnight? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Good fit. See you tomorrow. <laughs> okay, it's been a couple minutes. Out! Yeah. I got it working. Woo! Okay, come in. Perfect. So there was a few of these in the box. Little package. Oh. I already got it hooked up over here. It looks like a mess. So what we got here is network isolation, just a router, into this device over here, which is the their Unify Pro, into a switch, into, yes, the actual door control. So how does this actually work? Uh, you grab a card. This card is currently programmed to me. And as you can see, if I scan it. Welcome. That's cool, that's cool. It shows yeah. the logo. Yeah, so the image could be anything. So for example, if I take James' card and we scan it. Welcome, Bogdan. What the? Uh, that's weird. Ian's card? Welcome, Owen's Bogdan. card? What? What, Welcome, what is good? Give me a fresh card. This is wild. Welcome, Whoa. Bogdan. Bogdan! Creating bounds so that the, the, you know, the gripper can't ever enter the pilot's cockpit. What's up, boy? What's up? Power loader! Power loader. Port 97! Oh man. We almost gave Henry a heart attack. <laughs> really? Oh man, we were filming a, a, a good old uh, corporate training video, and when things go wrong, Bogdan gets loud, and, and we didn't we didn't give Henry a heads up on that. We should have. <laughs> uh, Henry thought something actually went wrong when it was just a scene. Uh oh. So uh, yeah, he got a little frightened. Yeah. So. Did he come running? Yeah. Yeah. He was using some adult words. Nice. So, but nobody's hurt. Good. And I think the I think the viewers, you guys are gonna like this. <laughs> this is a good little scene. So yeah. stay tuned. I was wondering, I could hear the screams from my office. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, we should have given it a heads up, eh? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> next time. Next time we send our robot on a runaway through the shop, we'll warn people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so we'll go Sounds back like a plan. Yeah, this machine? The milling machine. It's like our Tormoth, but manual and heavier. Pretty big. Yeah. 3,500 pounds. 3,500 Five. pounds? Yeah. Five horsepower. So I actually, about eight months ago, I bought a brand new mill and it was going to be, it was going to be shipped. We were going to have one. And then there's a company that said, oh, we'll, we'll give you a free one. Okay, great. Cancelled the order. Negotiated agreements. 
had an agreement in place and it it never never happened never got a mill it's it's still kind of in progress but i don't know <laughs> so i bought a mill nice and we're gonna unload it watching people use their hands What are you trying to figure out now, Ian? So the forks can't reach it where it is, so we need to drag it to the side of the trailer and then sling it up and then lift it up. Did it, you guys did it, Ian. What's next? Gotta find a home for it. Do you have any idea? Yeah. Remember there was a whole vlog on reorganizing the machine shop? Yeah. You get to do it again. Oh <laughs> no. That's day two of baloney. I don't even know what that means, but uh, we're gonna go check on the guys in here. They're filming an ad for Hacksmith.store. You guys are getting a preview. Oh, oh Chris, that's you. Oh, hey, Owen. <laughs> Hello. We're setting up for Hacksmith Retail. Yeah, Hacksmith Retail episode one, yep. coming soon. It's gonna be a fun one. You saw the special uh, credit cards. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're just setting up to film. Yeah. Okay, hello, Chris. You're uh, you're the model for this ad. I'm the model for this ad. Well, cuz you're you're retail boy. I'm retail. Retail boy. <laughs> <laughs> show, show us your best like wallet showing, you know? Show the camera your best. My wallet. Yeah. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> it's a new wallet. Gotta break it in still, you know, the old wallet. Yeah, I mean, Got you're gonna baloney. use baloney. <laughs> Hello there, my name is Chris, and welcome to the Hacksmith.store lab. This week, we're testing the Smith wallet. Well, we already know the wallet is really good for cash and credit cards, but will it fit my lunch? Here's my new mill. I am pretty happy with it, but I haven't been able to run it because it's missing a drawbar. You don't really care about that. Also have a uh, nice tool cabinet with some tooling in it, you know, like taps and dies and other stuff. The reason I want this is because, first off, it's like really powerful. It's five horsepower, which will let it run giant tooling like this. Look at the size of that. Yeah, it's huge. But the reason I want this is because it's nice and powerful and it's faster to use a manual machine for small jobs. For anything complicated, of course, I'm gonna use the Tormach 1100MX, but for like little things, if I just wanna drill a couple of holes, it's faster and it's, it's, it's more, honestly, it's more fun, it's more tactile to turn a knob than it is to program a machine. It's, it sounds silly, it's like so the whole self-driving car versus um, manual driving. It's more, it's more fun to have like the stick shift and stuff like that. Um, I wouldn't want to do it all day, but yeah, it's, I'm excited, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, you want, you want to see some features? Whoa. You got up and down? Yeah. Check that out. So no, like normally you'd have to 
crank this handle. You want to go up or down, but there's a power feed. And there's also a power feed on the, on the X axis. There's digital readout, so you know exactly where you are, which is the advantage of this machine over something like this. Well, that's my mill. You're probably not as excited about it as I am, but I'm very excited. See you in the next vlog. See you. Yeah, that, that's all. Bye. Bye. <laughs> So Father's Day is coming up, and we designed a package deal just for Dad. If you go to the store and buy a wallet, you can get a hat and a keychain for free, just for Dad. Check out hacksmith.store for details. Isn't that awesome? No. <laughs>